Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that along your journey, some of the best advice that you may receive will come from those who didn't take their own advice. Simple as that. And what does that look like? For myself, I had a... <laughs> I had two incidents come to mind. I was in a, I say at this time in my life, I was in a dark place because I wasn't able to see the light. I didn't know where I was headed. I didn't know. And this guy said something to me, and he was, uh, he's usually, uh, he used to rub me the wrong way at times. Say it like that. Real, real smart mouth with it. But so was I. Uh, he knew I was having a hard morning, and he said, look, man, no matter what, the sun going to rise and set the same way every day. Now, mind you, me and him wasn't even, we weren't really cool at that time, so for him to say that, I felt he was taking a dig at me, and I was in such a dark place, I didn't see how helpful that would be to me, because in that time, I didn't have a, I didn't have a positive mind. So I said, like, oh, he's just trying to be smart. Okay, whatever. So fast forward. It took four years later. And that had came up from time to time, and I would joke about it. Like, yeah, he was taking a dig at me. And then I realized, like, you know what? Regardless of what I think about that individual, God used him to speak to me, and he planted a seed in my brain. Because I would think about it, be like, yeah, on certain levels it's true, but... That wouldn't solve my current situation. Because it wasn't for that situation. It was simply guidance for my life. Don't worry about it. Just as the birds don't worry about the, the seeds and they don't worry about their food and they shelter the whole nine. Nah, they get up, they do what they do. Animals, they wake up, rise with the sun, do what they do. Then they chill out in the evening when the sun go down. That's it. You wake up, do whatever work it is that you do, whether it be spiritually, whether it be a job, it don't matter. You get up and you go to work for God. And then you retire for God at the end of the day. And then depending on where you are on your journey, or if you even tapped in a certain way, you can even leave things to God overnight. And you got to take care of it while you rest peacefully. It's a beautiful thing. And that's part of this daily cycle that we have of simply knowing, hey, get up and then serve. Serve. I'm not talking about simply being in whatever service industries, no matter what industry you're in. There's so many different ways that we serve. Just think about it. No matter what we do, we're serving. It's a beautiful thing. So it's not limited to just one industry. Our life is the industry. It's a beautiful thing. The second, I don't want to get away from the, the topic. The second thing was a family member told me to operate from my heart. And this was in the middle of a conversation where they were consistently neglecting to hear me. They were denying my reality. They were denying my truths. They were denying the they were denying accountability for their own actions. They told me, for some reason to stick out, they said, man, you gotta remember to operate from your heart. And at the time, I was, I was living. You mean to tell me you're gonna deny everything that I'm telling you right now and that's what you're gonna bring to me? Operate from my heart? As you consistently attack it and knock me when I do? Oh, I wasn't having it. But now I laugh. Because that that jewel, it reminded me like, man, don't beat yourself up about none of this. Some things in the past happened, but that's okay, because it helped be it helped you create who you are today by going through those trials and tribulations, and that's beautiful. Because I understand that operating from my heart is what I was doing, but I was scared to embrace it. Now. I'm going to embrace it. 
It may not be received by all. It's not my business. All I have to do is stay true to who I am. And I hope in sharing this with you, it reminds you that, hey, sometimes, like, don't get caught up in judging the messenger. Because even those people that we feel that we don't get along with or those who are attacking us, they are showing us something within us. They're, they're giving us a lesson. And in knowing that, we can sometimes step back, get a bird's eye view, and receive something that we wouldn't have had without that experience. I'll leave it there. Be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.